The question is fundamental. Are you willing? Do you want to talk about love? How do you know about love? In 1 John 3.16 it says, By this we know love, that He laid down His life for us. And we are to do the same, to lay down our lives for the brothers. The question is, are you willing? Jesus told us that if they persecuted Him, you bet that they would persecute you. If that's what Jesus told you, then why do we continue to seek people's approval, the world's approval? What Jesus was saying is that the only way to be at peace with the world is to separate yourself from Him and His teaching. And that's exactly what many of us do. We separate ourselves from God's teachings to fit into this mold that we're not made for. It's time for you to stop deceiving yourself. You are not of the world, but He chose you out of the world. Are you willing to stand up for truth? Are you willing to stand up for the Word of God? Are you willing to stand for God and God alone? What about when they call you a hater, or a liar, or a bigot, or a prude? Whatever they call you, my question to you is, what are you going to sacrifice to follow Jesus? God has appointed you for this specific time, and this specific purpose, to stand up for His name and His name alone. Martin Luther once said, if we profess with the loudest voice and the clearest way every portion of the truth of God, except precisely that little point at which the world and the devil at that moment attack, then we are not confessing Christ, however loudly we may be professing Christianity. I know you don't want to fight this fight. I know you would rather feed the poor and help the sick, but these things are not mutually exclusive. In fact, it makes perfect sense for the enemy to attack you when you are the most weak. Yet, in your weakness, Christ is able to show up. The fact is, we don't serve a wimpy God. We serve a mighty, powerful Creator. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right side, but He says, Fear not, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed or discouraged. I will uphold you with my mighty right hand. It's a battle for life. It's a battle scene and you're the only one left. Are you willing to stand in the gap? Are you willing to be the generation that will not submit to anyone but God? Are you willing?